um, that's how I've been able to get through each day, is knowing that if it were not for some of the things that I faced, you know, maybe I wouldn't be as close to my family as I am right now. Maybe I would not have got given the opportunity to go to Harvard and, and to touch people's lives in the way that I have. Since the tender age of 11, following a tragic accident, Ellison has been paralyzed from the neck down. But this did not stop her from seeking a rewarding and influential life. A life devoted to raising awareness about the science and emotion of stem cell research and the lives it stands to benefit. Brooke Ellison is my inspiration. I'm pushed to do better and more ambitious things. She's done it. I will do it. I want to cure spinal cord injury because of Brooke. Ellison sits on numerous committees dedicated to curing spinal cord injuries, and she drafted a federal stem cell research plan for Senator Obama's 2008 presidential bid. She inspires others living with adversity to carry on and change the world. Through the Brooke Ellison Project, she has authored books and produced and inspired films, including the 2004 feature story of her life, directed by Christopher Reeve. She just speaks from the heart with that kind of clarity and authority about navigating life's challenges. She uses her life to lead the way and pass the torch for others. Brooke Mackenzie Ellison, Doctor of Humane Letters. Ms. Ellison, please join me at the lectern. Brooke Mackenzie Ellison, now therefore by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Boards of Governors and Trustees of Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey, I am pleased to confer upon you honoris causa, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, with all rights, responsibilities, privileges, and immunities appertaining thereunto, here and elsewhere. Congratulations.